Hello, we have discussed so many testing tips from the testers. Now I have classified some of those tips into advanced level tips. Maybe all the testers are not talking about them, but uh, they are really important and they are at a little advanced level compared to what we uh, discussed before and not everyone is discussing those. So let's see what are those tips. Okay, if you see that I'm already in the last tab, I have covered maximum of them. Go through my channel and check it out if you like them and you have if you have any more or if you have any corrections, uh, do comment it out. So let's see that many kinds of testing are available, right? We see in testing forum, sometimes people they get questions from something other like security performance and they start keep on jumping and especially when you are new. So the advisors like uh, you deep dive into one and then go into the other ones, right? And when you find a solution on blog or stack or overflow or anywhere on internet, so uh, generally there is a tendency that we simply copy paste it, but uh, there is an important advice that has been given that that solution has worked for somebody and at their time, like we don't know what, what problems that have happened when they use that solution. And there is a saying from Jerry Weinberg as well. So where they say that uh, don't proceed until you have three ways of doing the same task, right? So find multiple solution, tweak the solution. So this can help you. And your job is not done. Once uh, there is a release and it went in production, uh, you try to obtain feedback from the prod that how, where, what users are using. Uh, do customer reviews, get their feedback. Maybe you tested something uh, which is not being used by customer, right? Or they are using some particular area which you might have given less importance. And monitor the application, how is it behaving in prod? This is also a part of testing, it will help you. Uh, how it will help you is like you can look at the defect and the areas of improvement where you have to work more. And how it will help is it will help in your upcoming release. It will increase your test basis. You will find some scenarios which you might not have uh, thought of, right? That uh, and it will show you the business and customer also that you care about them as you are taking feedback. It's not like that. Uh, it's in production and you are done, right? And if you so remember that you are the test tool, right? All the tools are your assistant, be it automation or any tools, right? It's you who have to, because if we give a fool a tool, then he cannot become intelligent with that, right? So you are the ultimate test tool. And with CI, CD, you have to bring CL as well. That stands for continuous learning, right? Where uh, there are some key factors, like you should have domain knowledge, product knowledge, different testing techniques, the tools that are there in the market, along with the new technologies that keep on coming and testers and testers plays various roles as well. So you should constantly read in books, blogs and articles and various contests you do participate in. And these are some other things, right? Which are important like product test results and reports, the history. And uh, even Josley has written about this that uh, the new tester roles is that you are a researcher, right? You are searching not only you are not just testing your product, you are checking that how the industry is and what are the competitive products, what are the features that are there in that, right? And do participate on social media so that to increase your knowledge, not that uh, whatever you know is right, you might get advice from people, right? And don't just uh, focus on text execution. So here, I think I have marked this that, uh, like somebody logged out and they have marked that URL and then they, by chance open that from there. And they found that without login, they were able to do that and get involved early, like in requirement meetings, requirement engineering, because uh, uh, it has been uh, written in one of the article on Synapse QA that 56% of the errors comes in the requirement phase. So if you can identify them here, it would be a really good, right? And yes, don't get into the trap of that fancy designation, whether it's S that or this is also one of the good advice, like at some places it's engineer, it's SDE or test consultant, and there could be many things, right? But your primary role is tester. So uh, take care of that. And CICD is uh, 
not only for the product but for yourself continuous improvement and continuous development so what have to develop what you have to develop is skill knowledge and experience and we have uh, discussed various things that how you can improve upon those things right and engage in discussion not only related to testing but uh, the various financial discussion you can get involved in that to understand that how the company is spending on that project and how they are bringing the profit into it right it will give you insights into that right and so you want to perform real user testing so it might more not be possible for all the projects but it is then you can try like visit the places so that you can meet those real users i'll share an experience here so i participated in mulyam picks so mulya is a company which is very good in the testing domain you must be knowing that uh, so they they asked us to uh, in that you have to tell the user experience like in google pay give do an account transfer not the normal phone number transfer but an neft or imps you can call it via your parents and many people found it very difficult right we use it on a daily basis and so we find it easy but for parents like when they press the back button and again they have to enter they find they were finding it difficult right so uh, maybe with your experience you find something very easy but the actual user uh, might might not be finding it very easy with different days so it will give you a perspective that how you can think about those things and uh, build on your trust test craftsmanship right uh you can read this it's a very uh, good topic heuristics james back and michael bolton talk about it lot like what are the uh, possible ways of solving a problem uh, they can be wrong but you have in mind for example when you test a login so you have some 10 scenarios or what categories they fall in right there is a approach which you will try to solve the login problem right so that can help you there are some books as well on that so testing is similar to art right you cannot uh, define by a process okay in certain companies this is testing and in your company so it cannot be defined like right? you have to build your own craftsmanship which you can do like this okay and never fall into the trap of some predefined testing process you can define your own uh, whatever works for you and there is a lot of uh, web pollution right uh, that means that uh, you'll find uh, so many so much information on the net sometimes it's wrong as well like uh, a few days back there was an article on linkedin shared by one of the companies which say that how you can uh, read excel via selenium so you you have to use some libraries right so that uh, uh, when the person who is not having uh, like know about apache py so they might think that that you are directly using selenium the advice people keep on asking what is erp domain and various domains right so this is the way like if you are new to the company or new to the domain how you can start you can start with the some jargons that are there in some particular domains maybe like if i talk about telecom there are subscription ids accounts you have various plans right so uh, take notes like find a mentor in the company so that and use those terms so that you get familiar with it right and identify real user of the product so that you can be in the customer shoes right talk with the ba person if you have chance to talk even to the sales person uh, right uh, they have good knowledge about uh, the product basically the customer interaction they have so much right and then connect this like the technology stack and the domain once you have the domain knowledge right and if you already have the product right sometimes uh, product is getting built or if it's already there you can start exploring and then you can relate all that whatever you have learned right and do document because taking notes is one of an one of the important skills right and last but not the least that understand the difference between static and dynamic testing so it's an interview question as well like suppose you have to uh, test a mouse which is not there right it is getting built how you will test it so at that time you can perform the static testing you do have the documents you can test the requirements and ask questions and get clarity uh, so hope you like this advanced level tips uh, i'll share in few days this finally big mind map which is having all these steps at one place and i'm also adding on my github page so there you can follow and you will get all these things at a central place which is a gem from the testers where you can learn automation and uh, know about the 
tips which will help you and here is my channel you can subscribe to it and press the bell icon thank you happy testing